In this video, I'm going to show how this two-year-old filly is exposed to the tarp. Her name's Bailey, and she's been, she's here for 30 days, essentially, of groundwork and um, ground manners. She's had handling, but limited, um, so she can be a little bit timid and uh, sensitive, um, even just to brushing. So things like brushing and tying um, have been things for her to learn. So this exercise with the tarp is a way to build um, communication between us and confidence in her. So the first thing that I do with scary objects is not send horses up to it. I like to do uh, the process that you just watched where I have them follow it. So it, from the beginning, it instills um, curiosity. When something's coming at them that they already don't know what it is, they uh, are more prone to be afraid of it. So we walked around longer than is filmed, but I edited stuff down just so this wasn't a 25 minute video. So I walked backwards and had her um, follow it until she was comfortable and showing curiosity and wanting to follow it on her own. I left her here to go grab the camera because she was doing just fine with it. Uh, after a few minutes of following it, she had a lot of curiosity for it. Um, and then she wanted to explore it more. So I allowed her to. Um, she seemed like Good she job. would be fine. So I encouraged Good her to girl. walk over it and she happily did. Good so that girl. was really nice to see. Good job. So then I decided to unfold it and make it bigger. Um, you'll notice that I'm not like lunging her around it, trying to send her over it. I am just encouraging her to be Good confident girl. to come over on her own. And she has wanted to. So this is all really, really great steps. Um, see, she's finding that she can play with it and it can make some noise on her own. She's gaining a lot of confidence instead of me forcing her to to go over it. Good job. And once we were confident that she wasn't totally scared of it and could walk over it, then I hung it up on the wall of the round pen and am going to let her work around it. So again, I'm not trying to force her to go up next to something that she's afraid of. In this uh, concept, it's more that it's just existing there and that we're going to go about our normal lunging business, which is another thing that she's been here to learn. So I allow her to walk up. If she wants to stop, I didn't push her any more forward. She looked to me there for um, essentially direction and so then I at, encouraged her to take a step so she did and here she confidently but cautiously walks past it there's a big difference I find in forcing them to go up and look versus letting them just take what that take like four or five seconds of allowing her to process it and um, not just be sent by the scary thing so if she wanted to stop and look at it I would let her. Um, at some point later on, she does do that. But again, this isn't about wanting to send her up to it and just like deal with it. This is just that, hey, there's a scary thing and we're just going to do our work around it. Um, so this isn't, again, this isn't like trying to desensitize her in, in that sense. This is more like if a banner was on the wall and we're just doing our work next to it. So I put her through all three gates. Again, I edited it down, um, but we calmly were able to walk past it and trot past it and canter past it. Um, if she was really hyped up and worried, I wouldn't probably have sent her into the higher gates, but because she was doing fine, um, we did. You can see it started billowing a little bit because we had some wind, so that caught her attention a little bit, but she kept her brain together pretty well, so I was pretty happy with that. And 
And then we're going to look at it on this side. I had already sent it. Oh, yeah. See, here she wanted to stop and look at it, or at least pause and look at it. So I let her do that. I let her have her face to do that. If she wanted to stop, I would have let her. If she wanted to paw at it and play with it more, I would have let her. Um, at this point, I'm just allowing her to investigate it on her own terms. I'm not going to force her to stop and look at it. I'm also not going to force her just to go past it. And this builds a lot of curiosity and confidence. But yeah, she had already seen it on this side before we got to work in. I sent her back and forth so she got to see it on both eyes before we started lunging. Here she was a little worried about it. For whatever reason, it looked a little different as she was trotting up to it. So she thought about turning out the other direction. And you'll note that I, I didn't get rough with her about that. Uh, I encouraged her to keep going the direction we were going, but I didn't suddenly make my aids huge and give her a reason to be scared um, over something she was already worried about that's just going to compound being worried. So uh, we get working through the trot and the canter this way too. She's still learning how to have her walk transition. Once she gets into the trot, she wants to kind of just keep going. So I had to reinforce the walk cue. And I like to do that by asking them to step their hip out a little bit. I wasn't sure if I was going to get to this point with her or not, or if it was something I actually was even wanting to do, but um, it just seemed right with the way that we were progressing. <clears throat> so I gathered up the, the tarp and I instilled some curiosity there again, because when I stepped towards her, she was a little unsure. So then I took a step back and now I'm allowing her to find a way to um, get that curiosity back before I start touching her with it. So she took a step back there, um, which tells me that she wants to get a better look at it and possibly, possibly get away from it. So again here, oh good, then I want her to step towards it to have more of that confidence built. And I spend a little more time uh, than is shown on this step of letting it touch her legs or her shoulder. Um, but we did do that until she was comfortable with it and didn't show signs of anxiety or lifting her neck or wanting to walk away or twitching or any of that. Once she was good, I started raising it a little bit just so it changed the, you know, the line in her vision. I liked that she turned and wanted to look at it there as I lifted it. She kind of wants to go away, so I waited it out. Then she wants to look at it. All good signs. And one of the reasons why I'm even doing the tarp with her is because her owner said that she's a little bit jumpy about her blanket. And so I thought that this would be another way to work on desensitizing um, the blanket going on her on and off. Uh, and I, the tarp could be like a multi-use way to desensitize. So as you can see, as it gets on her here, she's a little worried. I just held it and kept her on a small circle so she can't run away. Good. And then as soon as she slows her feet and wants to check it out, I'm going to let her have relief with it on her. And then I'll take it off of her. And then you can see she's looking and chewing. That time she didn't get as upset. Wants to play with it. So I let her just keep wearing it for a little bit here. I felt confident that she was comfortable with it. So I walked her off that time. And then we halted. And this was a... This was a really good introduction, I felt, to the tarp. Uh, if This isn't something I would, from the get-go, immediately believe that we're going to first be introduced and then have it on them. It just depends on how the horse progresses. Mm -hmm. I was really pleased with her here, though. And she did really well. And then at the end, uh, we worked on tying and just had it hanging, and she was fine with that. 